This video will go over how to construct or uh, lay out the three-dimensional buildings for our block plan. So you see here is an example of what a block plan could look like when you're done with it. Um, this block plan I chose because you can see a combination of um, single family homes as well as uh, these might be commercial or um, apartment buildings that have flat roofs and uh, the houses have uh, typically a hip roof, but we're going to simplify that down to a gable roof. So first thing we're going to do is take a look at an example of a, of a building that has a flat roof, whether it's an apartment building or a commercial building. So this building we're going to assume is about 130 feet long by about 50 feet wide. So when you go to AutoCAD, you start um, by just putting in the uh, rectangle, so line command. Um, so you're going to go 130 feet over, uh, 50 feet down. And then line it all up. And so there's the the, the uh, footprint of our building. And so when you go back, you'll have to estimate whether these buildings are or not estimate. Figure out these buildings are one, two, three, five, ten stories, whatever the number of stories they are. And we're going to um, assume that every story uh, is represented by one or by ten feet. So if we assume that this building is twenty feet tall. Uh, we have to put the sides in. So we go up 20 here, over the width of the building, or the length of the building, back down. Uh, easiest way to put this on the other side, too, is just to mirror it. So you highlight those two, click on the mirror command. Uh, you, you're mirroring around the center line axis. No, you don't delete the original. And then you put the other side wall in. Again, the height is 20 feet because it's a two story building. Line it up with the other edge and bring it down. Again, mirror over, and no, don't delete. And there's the uh, basic outline. Now all we need to do is put the roof on our building. The roof is, since it's a flat roof, it's the exact same as the um, the bottom. So the easiest thing to do, really, is the exact same, copy and paste. So. Um, but the problem is, if we sent this to the laser cutter as it is, it would cut out all these lines. It would cut out one, two, three, four, five, six separate rectangles, and they would not still be attached. So I delete, I get rid of all my interior lines. Uh, but then if I print it, if I cut this, I wouldn't know where to fold so that it all lined up appropriately. So I put in small line segments at all the wall intersections to help me with my folds. And don't forget up here, oops, wrong one. Um, I should have the top of my wall and then, um, there we go. Don't forget the tops of your walls. And then that would be it. You're ready to submit this. Oh, uh, one big thing to make life easier on Mr. Payne when you're getting ready to uh, laser cut, you highlight everything, go to layer properties, change the line weight to 0, 0.00 millimeters. All right, that uh, is an important thing you need to do um, when you are getting ready to laser cut. Then you'd save it and send it. So that's uh, any building with a flat roof, uh, commercial, residential, uh, apartment, anything. Now, the next thing is a gable roof. So I'll just show you real quick what I mean by a gable roof. Um, so like when you were a little kid and you were drawing out houses, you probably drew a house that looked something in 2D, kind of like that, right? Um, most of your houses here in the Chicago area uh, have hip roofs, which are slanted on all four sides. We're going to assume, uh, make it easier on itself since that geometry is really hard. We're going to make it uh, only slanted on two sides. Uh, really, you know, proper terminology would be pitched on two sides. Um, anyway, so you go back to your uh, block plan and you find uh, a building and I don't know, I'll just estimate one to be a footprint of 50 feet. Oops, do that. 50 feet there by 30 feet. And then line it all up. Um, one of the big things here, a lot of the houses you can see have much more complex geometries. This one looks kind of rectangular, but this one's not. This one's not. Almost none of your uh, houses will be perfect rectangles or squares, but we're going to make our life easy. The geometry is going to be really hard if we don't uh, in 3D. Assume every tra – translate everything into um, 
into rectangles and squares. All right. So the long time, the long side is going to be the one that's pitched. The sh uh, the shorter side is going to be the one with the gable. So we'll assume this house is a uh, single story ranch style house. So up ten feet. So ugh, keep on doing that. Uh, ten feet. First part of this is going to be the exact same as the flat roof. So there's that. Uh, we'll mirror it to the other side. Don't delete. And then the other one. And feet, because this is a single story building. Line it up. And then mirror across the center line axis. Don't delete it. All right, so that was the exact same. Now let's put in our gable ends. So here, uh, we start from this corner, we go halfway across the building, and we're gonna assume that the gable, the attic space, is exactly one floor tall. Um, not always the most accurate, but again, right now we're just making assumptions and making life simple for us. All right, now you put in your gable, all right? Triangle part. Um, again, don't need any of the interior lines, so that's you know kind of on its side what the profile of the house looks like. All right, mirror that over. Oops. Add uh, mirror, not scale. Okay. Uh, what did I do? Mirror. Try that one more time. No, don't delete. All right, uh, get rid of that line right there. All right, so now we have the same thing. Now we just need to put on the part of the roof that kind of runs along here, along the pitch, but um, on top of here. All right, so first of all, we got to get a dimension because um, we're not sure what that is just yet. So uh, get a dimension from here to here. You can see it's almost exactly 18. Uh, zoom in. Yep, it's exactly almost exactly 18. So let's just simplify it. Let's make it 18. Uh, if you want to overestimate, you can do 19. Let's just do that. Overestimate a little bit. Let's go. Um, no, let's do exactly 18. It was 18.0. So up 18. Over. Up. Match it. And that. And then that will fold. You know, so this part will fold onto the, the side. And then this part will fold for the roof. And then you again, you mirror uh down there we go um actually i think uh the best way to do this would be to actually copy it up here because then uh you would have a fold at the peak of the roof instead of a tape at the peak of the roof all right once again you delete all your interior lines because you don't want those to cut out as separate rectangles put in little tick marks uh you know for your fold lines So all these will just help, help us when we cut and fold. And then just make sure you get all the end points here. There we go. And that should be it. And two more here. All right, and there we have it. There's a house. There's a single story building. When we cut these, they should be nice and perfect. Let's just double check one more th time. And the line weights are zero. Excellent. Now you can uh, make as many copies for as many houses and buildings as you have. Um, try to, again, make your life easy by, uh, you know, simplifying things onto rectangles and squares. Try to make uh, the dimensions relatively accurate to align everything up as best as possible. All right, that's it.